Hi, I'm Helen. This is Helen Chanel, and today I'm going to show you three garments that are fake. Chanel garments. You don't often see them. You hear about it, but I'm going to actually show you what to look for. So that should be a little bit helpful. By the way, this is a Chanel jacket. I always like to tell people when I'm wearing Chanel. It's from 93P. It's interesting because it has no buttons and no buttonholes on the front. Now, let's, let's find these. Here's one. Here's a nice Chanel blouse, a shell. Looks nice to me. It has Chanel written all over it. It's got a Chanel logo. It's got the word Chanel written under the logo. Looks pretty nice to me. No, it's not nice at all. It's terrible. Number one, you feel it. It has some rows of shiny fabric and it's all scratchy. Who's going to wear that? That's the first hint, okay? Second thing is, let's look at the label. Okay, there's the label. Letters are small. There's something suspicious about it. Well, partly because between the E and the L, there's a white line that goes down there. And there's another white line right here. And that basically means there's a flaw in the fabric that the label was printed on. Well, that's not so good. Then you're going to look at the stitching. And you're going to see if it's even. With the Chanel label, the stitching is evenly spaced and even length. That's bad. Look at the back. It's puckered. Now, you can see the label, and, and I don't want you to pay attention to that. I want you to pay attention to the fact that it's, it's making it so the fabric's not as smooth as you want it to be. Uh, Chanel, Chanel, Chanel has two colors, a black label with white writing, white label with black writing, and they determine it according to the fabric. So sometimes you can see the label through the back, but you don't want to see it puckered, and you don't want to see all these stitches holding it in place. Now, here we are, new with tag. That's always good. No, it's not good. It's terrible. Look at this flimsy tag. Chanel doesn't do anything flimsy. This is flimsy. It's written in three languages. That's okay. Chanel does a lot of things in several languages, but what it says is stupid. Uh, we certify authenticity of this item and confirm that it has been subjected to the most exacting quality control. Who says that? Um, I mean, you pick it up and then the thing says, oh, I'm authentic. Well, thanks for telling me, but you're not. So, that's bad. Chanel, it, it has words that Chanel would never use. Plus, uh, some languages don't translate well into English because other languages don't use the same uh, articles of speech that we use, nor do they use the same um, adjectives, adverbs. They don't use the same thing. Prepositions, here we go. So, the next thing is, it says, it's high quality is a symbol of the reputation of the trademark. Well, it isn't high quality, so there goes that theory out the window. And after the word uh, exacting quality control, period, then they start a new sentence. It's high quality, blah, blah. Well, they didn't begin the second sentence with a capital letter. Well, that, now that tells you something. No capital letter. And where it says quality control, it, quality is a symbol of the fine reputation. They have the word quality is as one word. There's no space between quality and is. So that's another hint that something is amiss. So that means that this is basically so fake. And I can tell you it's fake too because I bought it on the streets of New York a few years ago. Uh, just so I would have something to show you. Now here's a twin set, okay? I'll show you one piece at a time. It's very nice, it's black and white, and Chanel does a lot of black and white. And so it's attractive from a distance. You get closer to it. Let's look at the label again. Now that, that would be puckered, okay? It's one thing for the color of the label to show through, but it's something else for all these stitches to just delineate it. Here's another, take a look here. See if the, if the stuff is close together. I'll bring it in even for you. Do you see the A? It's like floating out there in the ocean. It's not the same distance apart as the uh, other letters are. It's sort of sitting out there by itself. Uh, the stitching is not even and it has an M. M. I think that's supposed to mean medium, but that's not something you see on a Chanel twin set. 
you see the European size on a Chanel twin set. You don't see small, medium, and large. Um, this is not sportswear or anything. This is, hello. So there's a giveaway. Let's look at the seam. Would you like to see a nasty seam? Take a look at that one. It's all weird looking and crooked and has strings sticking out of it and everything. No, that's not Chanel. Look at the buttonhole. It's all stretched and it has little bitty, I know you can't see it, it has little bitty threads going into the center of it and it's barely symmetrical. They're all like that. They're all uh, weird and scratchy and funny shaped. Um, and this is a fake piece too. There's no question about it. I bought this on the streets of New York too and fake, fake, fake. So I'll show you another thing. Now here are the buttons. Okay, you look at the buttons. They don't say Chanel on the back. Be suspicious there because most of them did at the time this was purchased. They say Chanel on the front. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna to say to yourself, well, there's something funny about it, but it's not, not enough to condemn the whole thing. Well, it is, because here's this, this stretchy fabric, whatever it is, and um, it's got the buttons and the buttonholes with nothing to anchor them. Here's a real Chanel cashmere sweater, and it has facing. So the buttons are connected to facing so that they don't stretch, they don't fall down, they don't pull the fabric, they don't misshape. And here's facing. And here are the very nice buttonholes as buttonholes should be. And here's the facing. Here's these nice even buttonholes. There's not a bunch of little threads hanging in them. They're not weird in any way. And this is an older piece. And it is, well, it's from 97A. And obviously it's been worn, not obviously by the condition of it, but obviously because it's from 97A. And it is um, in perfect shape. The buttonholes aren't stretched or strange. So that's another thing. Another thing is, I don't know, you probably can't see this, but there are these big wads of thread um, that are holding the buttons on. And you really don't want that. You want something much more subtle. Chanel is very subtle in everything they do. Um, you have... Let me see if I have another thing here. Got the stainless steel, got this. Well, I think that's all I'm going to tell you at the moment. I can show you this, but it's very subtle. Nonetheless, it's important. This is the edging on the Chanel um, shell. And you see, it's edged in black. Very nice. Well, not very nice. It's got all those white threads that are reaching up into the black, which interrupt the... the a flow of the black. Now, admittedly, it's subtle, but everything with Chanel is subtle. See, it's fine. Okay, that works. Wait a minute. That doesn't work. It's all funny looking now. So some of these things are very subtle and some of them are very obvious, but you want to look for all of them. Don't buy fake. That's crazy. You can get uh, Chanel from the secondary market that is like new, some of it has never been worn, and it's so inexpensive compared to the original price. But why not pay that money instead of some kind of weird, cheap thing that nobody's gonna believe is Chanel anyway, and um, that's just throwing money out the window. So that's what I have to say. I'd just like you to know so that you can look and buy intelligently, and then make your own choice what you decide you want. Talk to you later.